Our extensive coverage is taking us on a whirlwind adventure this morning. For our GMA cover story, we're now heading to the top. Well, Ginger's heading to the top of a wind <laughs> turbine, and that's where she is standing. She's climbing. It's there in Roaring Brants, Pennsylvania, to bring us a closer look at how wind energy can help save the planet and create jobs. Good morning again, Ginger. Good morning to you, Rob, and I think it's don't look down was what I was told. Uh, but we are, of course, safely up here, and there's really no better way to feel the power of the wind. And yes, it is a very windy morning here. The energy that is being harnessed is something we've done from thousands of years, but not quite like we are today. Now, at this point, wind energy is cheaper, cheaper than nuclear and coal. It is the same price as natural gas. It only makes up 8% of our power grid in this nation for now, but that's about to change. Coast to coast, there are 69,000 wind turbines churning out clean electricity in our nation. They're almost like towering troopers in the effort to slow global warming. Can I go to the left? According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, wind turbine service technician jobs are going to increase by 68% by the year 2030. That makes them the second fastest growing occupation in the United States. For Ava Gonzalez, working on a wind farm in Lyford, Texas has been a windfall. The reason I made the transition from the oil and gas industry, because I realized that I wanted to start taking care of the environment. Fueled by the Biden administration's plan to deploy enough new offshore wind farms to power more than 10 million homes by the end of the decade, the wind business is booming. One study finds that the expansion of offshore wind farming could pump more than $100 billion into the global economy. They are doing it because it's an area that they can make a profit. So it's good business as well as, as good for the environment. So when you talk about the size of a wind turbine, the average one is about 300 feet high. That's like the Statue of Liberty. And from blade to blade, they can be more than a football field wide. Even though these look like huge wind turbines, and they are, but they're kind of babies in the industry. 2.3 megawatts. They're now putting in 5 and 6 megawatts. And these are nothing compared to the behemoths that are going in offshore. We visited the country's first operational offshore wind farm in Rhode Island. And Governor Daniel McKee believes the state will transition to 100% renewable energy by 2030. A other revolution wind is on the table right now with 50 wind turbines that will be up and operating by 2023. 270,000 homes will be powered by that wind farm about 15 miles off the New England coast. Seven new and far bigger offshore wind farms will break ground or rather break water in the next three years. That should create 80,000 new jobs and enough electricity to hit that Biden administration goal of powering 10 million homes with wind. Plus, all that clean energy cuts carbon emissions big time. The equivalent of taking nearly 17 million cars off the road for an entire year. I love my job. I get up every morning. I love what I do and I don't see myself doing anything else. I want to leave a better tomorrow for my family. We're up here with wind technicians. It's amazing what they do every day. And I got to tell you that every part of a turbine is recyclable except the blades. And whenever I post about this, that's the first thing people see. There have been a lot of articles saying, hey, but these are going to fill up landfills. And now that we're putting more in, where do those go? That is a huge issue right now. The good news, the National Renewable Energy in, uh, Laboratory has created a new resin that can make a 100% recyclable, mm. reusable blade. Not only is it going to be reusable, but they'll be able to make them on site. That'll take away all the transportation issues, and I'm sure many of you have seen them kind of down the highway on these big trucks. It's going to make it a whole lot better. Wow. And I will say, guys, I have to tell you, too, there's no elevator up here, so we did climb. <laughs> it's pretty intense. Get a workout on top of everything else. Both you and Matt this morning. Okay, Ginger, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.